Hello everybody, it's Jay Britton here, describing the nation of Da Qin. So Da Qin is how the ancient Chinese, the Da Han, characterised the Romans who got there. And the nation's um, kind of setting is within that area, fictionalised within dominions. So long after Pythium's time, um, Emor still exists, and it um, carries on doing its thing, although in a heavily reduced state. And so at a certain point, some majors who are particularly competent at manipulating time manage to push the idea that they should go back in time and invert the Amorian cataclysm as a way to, you know, save the empire and make a name for themselves, I guess. And then the leader of the expedition, uh, who is thereafter known as the Chirocrator, kills the Strategos that was assigned alongside with them and forms a majocracy. And this is kind of the result. So the main thing is that they have a site in their capital called the Dinitikos, which causes all kinds of, uh, of events. And it's also the source of um, Darchin's ability to take resources from elsewhere and other times and other peoples and kind of uh, make them its own. The faction itself is actually a uh, pup kill nation. And your entire empire is basically a declining asset business, um, which kind of filters into the capital to some extent, but eventually it will just be run ragged. That's something that's going to happen. Um, Troop-wise, you have medium infantry who are locally raised called Orizario. You also have um, trebuchets who are called Kerriario. These have a siege bonus, um, both on the offense and the defense. Uh, the boulders are somewhat useful, except if there's loads of wolves or something, at which point they're just going to throw out loads of wolves. Um, they also have uh, Buclario, who are locally raised um, light cavalry, um, who are basically uh, badly behaved, but are at least cheap, and they need not eat because of the biscuits that they're fed, which is what they're named after. Uh, the Tagmatic military itself is formed of Tagmatoi, uh, as its kind of main bulwark. They are heavy infantry with a bow rather than a, um, a crossbow, and they use a spear rather than a shield. Um, but they're pretty sturdy, and they also all have very minor resistances. Um, typically, my nations are run alongside JBBM, and in every era of uh, JBBM, the Emorian or Splinter nations have five resistance against you know the specific thing that their nation um, is most about. And so they get three in all of them. Um, in terms of the more kind of magical troops, you have uh, the Chrysoi, who are similar to Ironbound um, for Ali Flegra, actually, but um, with a two handed weapon instead. And Aretmoi, who are um, uh, capital only troops. Uh, the nation has very few sacreds. They almost all come from the past um, rather than the future or the present. So um, the way that works is that you can change the era that your uh, Dinitikos is pointed at, basically. You have a spell called Archaeocratia, which uh, sends it towards the back, and then um, Alhazia, which um, reverts that to the present. Uh, Melontikratia, which uh, sends things to the future, or rather draws them in from the future. And Agnostia, which um, reverses that change. Now, the reasons you might want to reverse the changes are, for example, uh, one, you just feel like events aren't happening that much anymore. There's a relatively large event pool for all of the different eras, um, but it certainly isn't infinite, and most things only happen once to Darshan. Um, the other reasons are, so if you're running out of population, you probably don't want to be in the past anymore, because the past um, will grant you loads of resources and some interesting mages, but it won't grant you more population. In fact, there are events that will kill population. Um, if you kind of on the opposite end of the scale, if you point the gate at the future, you're going to get a lot of uh, troops, including uh, anything as modern as armoured vehicles from kind of relatively similar to our time, um, and certainly a lot of people. But you're not going to gain any more resources. And in fact, you can actually lose them because other cultures have used the resources that you were trying to use. You know, so um, that's kind of a side effect of, of what the Dinitikos is doing to to the world um, of dominions that it's in. Um, it doesn't have any heroes in the standard sense, so taking luck won't impact what heroes you get. But there are unique um, 
appearances of people after certain turns in the past and in the future, um, which would constitute for most nations something pretty similar to being a hero. Um, in terms of your mages, they are relatively um, versatile. Uh, Rolamakoi, um, in the version that I'm going to put up for download, are going to have two um, inept researcher. But um, in this version, they have nine, nine RP and relatively broad paths. And the Karioi are your priests, they have Inquisitor. Uh, Karatoi are um, your like basic mages. And then Tectonaz are your um, cap only, they also have Mason. Because um, they uh, act as the engineers, basically, in Darchin. Um, in terms of the spells that they get for casting in battle, so obviously they have a, ver a relatively wide range of buffs available to them just due to their um, kind of base path layout. But as well as that, they have some additional stuff uh, with Astral in particular. So they have an Astral version of Slow rather than the Water version of Slow, just uh, an extra one. They also have a spell called Protective Time Field, which is like a version of um, Battle Fortune, which also grants Mirror Image, but which slows anything uh, under its effect. Um, similarly, later on, they have a spell called um, Deliberation, which uh, is Weapons of Sharpness and Unholy Power, um, but with slow on the guys as well. Now, when you get this far up, you can actually reverse that quite easily with Quickening, but, um, but you'd have to make the choice to do so. They also have earlier access to Time Stop Normal, and then at uh, level 9, they have uh, Corona Kiri here, which grants one caster um, Time Stop until combat ends, or unless someone else casts Time Stop after them. But at least on your own side, you can kind of work around that and plan for it. Um, it also has a couple of spells over in Thaumaturgy. So you have Euphoric Decay, which um, speeds enemies up and decays them, and has a cool laughing sound effect. Um, obviously this is a little bit dangerous because it makes your enemies quickened, but it does double the rate at which um, they're going to die of decay, both in terms of damage and in terms of years. So you have 10 years every tick, and take 2 damage if you take damage. Merciless Decay, which is like Euphoric Decay, but not fast, it's just Decay. And a spell called Reminiscence, which is effectively a slightly earlier version of Vortex Returning, um, but with a twist, because it's actually self-banishment to your home province which is a little bit different in terms of how it works. Um, for one thing, it's slightly safer because there's no risk of ending up in the void. Um, but on the other hand, the amount of time it takes is three months. Um, or for certain beings um, that have, for example, spring immortality, it may be quicker or slower than that. Um, it also makes everything list as having been killed in a battle report, um, which isn't mechanically a problem but it does make it a little bit hard to track what's been going on anyway i hope that helps as a description of nation and um, i hope the guy playing the nation does well thank you very much and goodbye